Let's predict the products of HNO3 plus CaOH2, nitric acid and calcium hydroxide. So in order to predict the products, we need to be able to classify the reaction. And here we have an acid, it starts with H, that's a good clue it's an acid. And then a base, we have OH, the hydroxide ion, and that's bonded to the metal here. So we have an acid and a base. This is gonna be an acid-base reaction. It's also a double displacement reaction. So what's gonna happen is the H and the calcium, they're gonna switch places. So the H goes with the OH and you get HOH. You might know that as H2O. Then the calcium and the nitrate go together. Always write the metal first. And these are the products. But because we have an ionic compound here, we do need to balance the charge. So if we go to the periodic table, we can see calcium in group two. That's two plus. And then the nitrate ion, this whole thing is always one minus. It's one you memorize. So we're gonna need two of these to balance the calcium. So we're gonna put a two out here. We'll also need to put some parentheses. And now we have our calcium nitrate and water. Note that the overall equation, it's not balanced, but we're not gonna worry about that right now. If we wanted to write the states, nitrates are very soluble. So this is gonna be aqueous, AQ, and water. That would be a liquid there. So that's how you predict the products of nitric acid plus calcium hydroxide. First, you recognize the type of reaction. We have an acid and a base. It's also a double displacement. Write the products, make sure the charge is balanced, and then you write your states. That's it, Dr. B. Thanks for watching.